Hey guys, this is Rosa Kelly. Today I'm here with a new project to share with you and also the release of my digital magazine, Christmas Edition. So let's take a look. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am super excited to announce the release of my new digital magazine. This is the Christmas edition. I have been working on this magazine for a long time and I am so happy that it's finally ready for you guys to take a look. So if you are not familiar with my digital magazine, I do have a quarterly tutorial magazine where you can find all kinds of inspiration projects step-by-step uh, picture tutorials and some free printables that I add in there as well and so this right here is the Christmas edition so all the projects are Christmas oriented and they are quick and easy so you can make them as gifts there's some pop-up cards there's different mini albums and I think you guys are really going to like it especially if you are looking for quick and easy project ideas gift ideas and just a lot of crafty fun if you are not subscribed to the magazine you can still purchase just as standalone and everything will be linked down below but today we're going to take a look at this project i also do have a full tutorial for you on this video here i fell in love with this beautiful collection this is one of the paper collections from michael's recollections and it's called the christmas elegance i'll share that with you once i get into the tutorial part and i just love how elegant and simple it was and i just fell in love with it uh, so this house book here measures nine by six and is made with chipboard with a design paper and again quick and easy and super fun to make also the spine is expandable so you can treat this as a journal you can treat it as a mini album and just add more layouts and continue building onto your pages as well i also do have a bonus tutorial for all my channel members um adding a couple extra features to the book as well. I went ahead and added some lace to some of the pages. I'm also going to be documenting here some of my December moments. So some of these is still going to be like filled up with either paper. I might add a pop-up here. So if I do that, I'll probably do a video sharing with you guys, just adding more elements to this. Um, but for example, this little pocket here was one of the bonus um, tutorial for channel members. And we just created this really cute accordion full little house and these tuxedo pockets here. And so that is just going to go right there. This is going to be really fun kind of filling up and adding memories uh, to it. So this opens up like that. Very, very simple. So you can definitely make a few of these at once and just kind of pass in a skiff as well. And so I think maybe because I'm a crafter, I always try to give... Um, a gift but also something that i personally handmade i just think it makes it a little bit more special so i always like to come up with simple and cute project ideas especially for the busy holidays uh, so this double pocket was also a bonus tutorial and this was actually really really fun the technique on making this pocket because we just made this with one sheet of paper and the way we cut it and folded it was really fun to kind of explore and experiment and this turned out really really fun here and here we have this again i left this blank because i don't know if i'm going to be doing a lot of journaling or if i maybe want to add like a little pop-up there as well a place for a picture and same here another one of these like easy side pockets and some of the elements from the cutter parts um so that is the walkthrough of this super quick and easy project we're gonna be making this together right now don't forget to check out my digital magazine and let's get right into making this book so i'm going to be using the holiday elegance uh, collection this is by recollections and i am going to pick six uh, pages i have here the six pieces and i am going to cut these pieces at nine inches so i'm just gonna bring out my paper cutter and i'm going to go ahead and cut three 
Uh, so let's do nine. Okay, so these are gonna be nine by 12. So I have three. And then I'm just gonna do this. One. Okay, so I have my six pieces of six by 12. And then I'm just gonna fold these pages on half. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark from um, the top at, cent at the center here, which will be three inches. So I'm just gonna give this a little pencil mark. So this measures six, so we're gonna mark at three. And then I'm also going to go down, uh, from the top down at three, okay, on both sides. So three, and then we're gonna go from the top down and mark at three here, okay? And then I'm going to cut those lines. So I know it's hard for you to see, but we have a little mark up here, and then we have one and one here. So you're just gonna match the lines to give this the shape of the house so I'm just gonna uh, put this right there so here is the line and then here is the little line and then we're just going to cut uh, there we go. one side and then we're going to go ahead and cut these other sides here okay so I just want to make sure I see that line right there there we go so we have our house shape and then we're just going to use this one page as a template and then i'm just going to go ahead and cut the same here okay so i'm just going to place it right there you could uh, pencil mark one more time but i'm just going to Follow the same line here. Here we have the six uh, house shape pieces and we're not gluing these down yet so we're just going to keep them like that and we're going to use our scrap pieces here and I'm going to cut uh, six pieces and these are going to be six inches by two and a quarter so I'm just going to go ahead and cut these down to six so I should have three pieces here and we're just gonna cut this at six by two and a quarter I'm just gonna cut and then I'm going to do the other ones here so six by two and a quarter and then we're going to score those little pieces along the two and a quarter. 
we're going to score at one and at one and a quarter. So we're going to score at one and one and a quarter. And so we're going to do the same. One and one and a quarter. So we're going to now fold these along the score line and I'm actually using seven of these pieces um, instead of six so that way we have enough for the cover as well. So I'm just going to fold here. So now we're going to put our hinges together and start adding the pages and just making uh, the book here. So I am going to glue the hinges uh, together back to back. So I'm just going to grab two of these and you are going to just glue um, these down right here. Okay. And so that is going to make your first hinge. I'm just going to make sure that these are straight. And there we go. And then you're going, going to add glue and add the next hinge here. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and add this one. Okay, so that is going to go right there like that and i'm just gonna put this down and press okay so here we have the three hinges put together so far then we're just going to go ahead and add the next one here okay so again adding my glue adding the next hinge okay so gluing this down okay so press down and then i'm going to add the next one okay so i'm just gonna put this one here okay press down okay and then we're going to add the next piece Okay, so I'm just gonna go with this one. Okay, so press down and then we're just going to glue the last piece. Okay, so we have our seven hinges put together. So press down. And so there we go. Okay, so you're gonna have all your seven hinges together like that. And then this is what we're gonna be adding our pictures or our pages. Uh, so super, super easy. And so now to add the pages, I'm going to leave the first two. Those are gonna be for the covers. Uh, but we are going to grab this very first or second hinge and we're going to glue our page right here okay so you're going to open this up and just put the hinge in between and then you're going to glue this down and so that is going to be your first page uh, so i'm going to go ahead and just add some glue here and you also want to glue this down so i'm just going to add the glue all over Okay, and then we're gonna put the hinge here. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that right there. And you don't wanna push this all the way in. You wanna kinda give it a little space between the hinge and where you're closing the page right there. Okay, so now I'm just going to press down. Okay, I'm just gonna put, lay this flat for now. And then you do want to add some more glue on top of the hinge. OK, 
okay before you put this down. And here we go. Okay, so we have the first page added here. And we're just gonna do the same with the other ones. And I'm going to add glue on this side. And then I'm also going to add glue on the inside here. Okay, so you wanna add glue on the front of the hinge, that way when you close it, you can have that ready okay so we're just gonna put this and then close this and press it okay so that's gonna be the second page well i'm all for christmas all the happy smiles and the wishes and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holidays will open your mind may all your wishes tonight come true the love i live the dream i knew this christmas i only want to be close to you So we have all of our pages added uh, to the hinges and now we're going to work on the cover. So for the cover, I am going to cut two pieces at 9 by 6, which is the same thing that we cut for the pages. And we are also going to mark at the center. Okay, so we're going to mark at 3 inches at the center here okay and then we're gonna go three inches down on each side okay so we're gonna do from the top down three and from the top down three and i'm gonna do the same for this other one okay so three and then we're gonna mark here at three and then we're going to mark here at three okay and then we're just going to cut so we can have the uh, shape of the house here as well okay so we're just gonna cut there and cut here okay so we're just gonna go like that and same for this other one okay so we are going to match the lines cut and match the lines here okay so here we go so we have our two chipboard pieces so then i'm going to use these two designs and I am going to cut um, this here at six. Okay, so we're gonna do six. Let me cut this together. Okay, and then we're going to cut this by nine. Okay, so same thing for this one, six by nine. And then we're going to glue this on our house uh, shape the cover so I want to use this for the outside uh, so I'm just gonna glue this down 
So we're gonna glue here. Okay, so we're gonna add these piece right there. Just like that. Okay, so then I'm just going to cut this out. Okay, so we have one side and you only want to cover uh, one side for right now. And let's do the same for this one. And then we're also going to cut and cut. Go. And then I'm just going to take some of these. Okay. So there we go. So we have that. And we have this one. And then we are going to go ahead and add. Uh, these two are covered so I'm gonna put it here on my hinge I'm just gonna glue that right there so let's add the glue okay and then I'm going to put this right there press it down okay, so now we're just gonna add the glue on this other hinge and we're gonna add this piece here. Okay, and press down. Okay, so we're gonna add those two. And then on the back, we are going to add the other two pieces here. So we're just gonna add the glue on top. So I'm just adding this and I'm going to glue this down here and then we are going to cut the extra so take this out okay so now we have our covers Add it and I'm just quickly going to ink just on the outside here so I don't see all of that see the difference here with the white and I just don't like uh, seeing so much white on the edges so we're gonna add some ink I'm using the uh, distress ink by Tim Holtz and this is the vintage photo Okay, so now we're going to decorate the cover a little bit. So I want this project to be very simple, more in like the modern style. And I'm going to be using a little bit of lace to kind of just add uh, a little touch of softness. And I'm going to use one of the cards from this collection and a piece of a chipboard. So I want the chipboard to create a little bit of volume. And I'm using this because uh, I just mainly like the frame look of this piece and the gold. But you can also uh, just use a picture and use this kind of as a placeholder to add 
a beautiful picture on your book um, so I'm going to go ahead and use these uh, lace here so it's one that I have here on my stash but I love how big uh, and chunky it is and we're just gonna wrap these all around uh, here and let's hold it properly first uh, so you don't want to glue it on the spine because you want your spine to be able to expand but I do want to kind of um, place it here at the center and I am going to be adding my glue so I'm gonna use fabric glue for this and you want to add glue here okay and mainly on the center okay so we're just gonna put this down right there and then I went ahead and cut this chipboard at 4x4, which is the size of my cut, uh, cut apart piece here. So we're just going to glue this chipboard piece at the center. And again, this could be a really beautiful place for a picture. Uh, if you wanted to add a picture on the cover of your book. And I'm just going to put this right on top of the lace. Okay, so just press down so that's gonna go there so I'm just gonna hold this here for a second and I'm just going to glue this down okay and again you can add a picture here instead but I really like how this uh, looks okay so super super simple but I think it looks really elegant I love the paper now for the lace I'm actually gonna go ahead and glue this on the back so before you glue this down make sure that you um, that your spine is expanded all the way okay and then you can go ahead and glue this now so I'm just gonna add a line here at the center not a lot of glue because I don't want the glue to show uh, but here we go okay so just that here so I'm not gluing anything on the spine I want these to be able to expand and there you go okay so that's gonna go all the way around and then you can tie these on the side here uh, once you're done adding your uh, pictures and things so I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue that way this is not hanging like that just a little bit there okay so there we go so we have the very simple uh, and elegant <laughs> cover for this book I love how this looks uh, and now we're gonna kind of go ahead and add some like layouts um, to the inside so yes this will be a soft cover I'm not gonna put any chipboard here I do like my pages when they open like really really flat like this uh, but if you don't like the softness of the book now keep in mind this is going to expand as you are pictures and layouts and things like that but if you like something more structured you can go ahead and glue um, a piece of chipboard here on the spine uh, but then also your pages probably won't open as flat as they do here um, and so okay so now let's go ahead and add some little elements on the pages okay so now we're gonna work on the inside pages and so for the layouts I'm just gonna keep it really simple for this book I went ahead and cut six pieces at five by ten and I also cut uh, the four by four cut apart from the collection that I'm working with and I'm just going to go ahead and score um, these pieces here at 5 inches okay, along the 10 inch side. And we're just going to do the same for all of these. Okay, so again, 5, 5 this at five and 
one more and then we're going to fold along the score lines okay so um, three four And then what I'm going to do is glue these pieces here. Uh, so I want to glue, like let's say this one there. So these are the um, four by four cut apart. Okay, so I'm just gonna add my glue. And so for this one, I'm gonna make this open up and down. Okay, so we're just gonna put this right here and then for this other one again we're going to make this open up and down so maybe i will use this or uh, maybe i'll use this one here okay so we're going to add the glue And then for these other ones, I'm going to be adding these pieces. Now these ones, I want these to open side to side maybe. So now that we have our pieces, what we're going to do is just start adding these to our pages. So that way we have a beautiful image. And then this is going to be the place where you're going to be adding your pictures. You can, of course, also cover this up with um, your paper as well. But for now, I'm just going to leave it blank. And we are just going to start gluing. Then we're just going to finish up decorating our book using some different laces and trims.
And so I hope that you guys enjoy making this book with me. I want to thank you so much for all your support to my digital magazine. I can't believe this has been the fifth year of the magazine. I think I'm going to be doing something special to celebrate the end of this year. But again, thank you so much for all your support. Let me know on the comment section below if you guys tried this book. Let me know if you have checked out the projects on the magazine and which one is your favorite. And also do let me know what would you like to see because i am now actively preparing the 12 days of christmas and i just can't wait <laughs> so let me know if you guys have any special projects you would like to see there as well so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one Bye bye